I'm a businessman in Nigeria. I'm in the electricity business. I own um, power plants. I generate presently about 15 percent of the electricity need for Nigeria. Nigeria is not for the weak. This video is a welcome development in Nigeria and I don't know why Nigeria is always fighting for anything good that is coming into this country. I don't even know why Sha, but this is Davido's father, Dr. Deji Adeleke. Deji Adeleke revealing that he is developing a whooping 2 billion power plant project in Nigeria. Can you imagine this kind of mighty project? But yet, some certain people in Nigeria we know like something good is fighting endlessly for the progress of this project. Uh, one thing we see, David do know the Braco, as well as person we are in Papa Game Money, David is not truly really Bracken. I'm a businessman in Nigeria. I'm in the electricity business. I own um, power plants. I generate presently about 15% of the electricity need for Nigeria. I have uh, Chinese engineering companies that work for me. I'm building almost completed by January, by the grace of God, uh, my new power plant that will be the biggest thermal plant in Nigeria. It's a 1,250 megawatts power plant will become operational in January. But during the course of the design and getting all the permits, we ran into difficult government officials. For environmental reasons, our permit was denied. The particular government official that I held a meeting with told me to my face that this, your project will never see the light of day. But while he was saying that, I was saying in my mind that this guy is talking as if he's God. <laughs> and because we are not God, I couldn't say it out, but I was saying it in my mind that God listened to him. Because he's not God, whatever he's, he has, whatever he's saying is null and void. I'm not going to be worried about it. So I left Disappointed, of course, and I told my Chinese friend that, look, unfortunately, we have these difficulties, and it seems that it's going to be a while before we can get this going again. Meanwhile, you see, 1,250 megawatts power plant, price tag is about 2 billion US dollars. So it's not small money. So in the process, a lot of money has already gone into design and the preliminaries before we got to the stage where we must have the environmental um, permit before we can break ground. So my Chinese friend said, what are we going to do now? This is very serious because the Afro-Exim Bank of China was involved. And that might have you know, meant bankruptcy for him, for his company, because they have invested so much with me in, in this. So I told him not to worry, that everything is going to be all right. And um, he said that he's worried. Do you know somebody that can take you to the president or to speak to someone? I said, don't worry about it. That everything was going to be okay. And he said, are you sure? He said, no, no, I'm not going to do this on, on this. On the, I'm coming to see you. It seems that you've, have, you've found a solution, so I'm coming to see you. So while on his way, I got on my knees and I prayed about it. And I asked God to make all things well. And I, so when my friend came to me face to face, he said that, yes, Mr. Chairman, um, he called me Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, so what is the solution uh, about this? It seems you are not worried. 
I said, I'm not worried because I've prayed about it. And God is going to make it right. My friend became very upset with me. He said, God cannot do this. Just for, this is not about God now. This is not about your church. Please, Mr. Chairman, put this aside. We are talking serious issues now. <laughs> and I said, that is the only way I know to go about it. On the Sabbath, it was like on Thursday, Friday I prayed about it. On Sabbath, I prayed as, as I always do and presented this issue before God Almighty. And I challenged God and I said, God, see, my friend said you cannot do this. So please show up. Not only to convince my Chinese friend, but also the government official that is trying to block us. Let him know that you are God Almighty and there's none like you. So, I continue to pray about it. The following week, on a Wednesday, I got a call from the Ministry of Power that I should come to the minister's office. So I went, and I was handed over my permit. Amen? Amen. I didn't know what happened. All I did was pray about this. So I looked. So I asked one of the officials, what exactly happened? Why am I collecting this from this office and not the other office? And the person told me that the particular government official that wanted to block us took heal and that he was flown to Germany for treatment. And that some of the applications for permit for other types of uh, factories, not electricity, was sitting on his table. And that his boss, somebody that knew his boss, the top person, I'm using the word because I don't want to say exactly the the office. So his boss now said he should bring all the applications to his table since he was not there. So my application was one of those that was taken. And his boss wrote on my own application, this is, this is a very good proposal. We need electricity as we need the air. This should, this should be encouraged. And I want a report on the progress of this project every quarter. So that was why I was called to come and pick up from the minister's office the permit. So when I saw my Chinese friend and I told him that we have the permit already, he said, what did you do? I said, I prayed. That's what I did. He said, he didn't believe me. He said, did you, did you bribe anybody? I said, I did not. It's even dangerous. I can't even bribe people at that level. He said, so you believe your, your prayer? I said, I said, yes. He said, what happened? I said, the, that other guy took hill and he was flown outside for treatment. And he said, did you ask your God to make him sick? I said, no, <laughs> I did not ask my God to make him sick. Um, I just prayed and that all I know is that all things work together for good for those who love God. So I told him it was God that did it. Thereafter, something stuck to the mind of my friend who did not believe in God. Anytime we run into any challenges during the process of building this uh, huge power plant, he became not, he was no more worried. Well, he tells me that, Chairman, when you go to church on Saturday, report to your God, okay? <laughs> and I will assure him that 
on Saturday, on the Sabbath, when I go to the church, to church, I'm going to report to the Lord. <laughs> and I don't know if it has worked for you, but it has always worked for me. That it seems that prayers that are, that are said on the Sabbath are answered faster <laughs> than other prayers. And like the story I told you before, over the years, that sermon from that Catholic priest has always stuck with me. I've had rumors about church leaders, elders doing, so, doing all kinds of things, but it has not affected me. Because I've, I've always said to myself that we are all human beings. That anybody can be tempted, and I'm not, I'm not going to allow any behavior of a pastor or a president or whatever in the church to affect my focus. Because my focus is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And my prayer is that as we keep the Sabbath, may the blessings of the Sabbath always be and abide with us. Amen. Amen. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.